Okay, so today what we're going to do is I'm going to do an intro to modeling. Um, I know a lot of people have issues starting out and understanding <clears throat> how to model stuff. So we're just going to start and we're going to go into the more advanced um, uh, section here. Well, all I'm going to do to start out with is um, model a room. Okay, now the first time you model a room, you know, most people try and take a box and flip it or, you know, like model walls and stuff like that. What you want to do to model a room is really simple. Just grab a box and add on a modifier. Modifiers um, are your, your bread and butter a lot of times. They can make life a whole lot simpler. So we're going to add a normal modifier. Normals, what, what they'll do is they will flip all the normals for that, that object. Okay. Now, right now you can't tell that you're doing this so we have to go into the object properties and change back face coloring okay so now that's going to give you pretty much a straightforward blank room okay something to to basically set your stage if you will okay um, the next thing that you want to do is you want to um, I'm gonna do just a, like a small child's playroom type of thing. Um, put a bed in there, a dresser, that type of thing. Um, so we're going to just start off with this this base room here. And then I'm, I'm not a big fan of the grids, so I, I tend to get rid of them. And G is the hotkey for getting rid of the grids. So there's that. All right, so now I'm going to just zoom into this room here so that we can see this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start off with something simple like a dresser. Okay, now a lot of people when you when you model the dresser, you know everyone kind of has their own concept, their own ideas. So I'm gonna just start off with a box. Okay, I'm gonna zoom into this box and let me just. I'm not a big fan of realistic, so let me go back to here. Okay, so now when you have this box, you want to pre-plan it. How many drawers do I want in this dresser? Okay. So how many drawers do I want in this dresser? Say I want three drawers. So what we need to do is we need to add in, and I'll show you wireframe here, you need to add in the number of segments. So if we have three drawers, you actually want a space between the drawers. So what we want to do is actually, oops, uh, go up here. What we want to do is go one, two. So this is a drawer, the divider, a drawer. Now, if I add five in there, the drawer, divider, drawer, divider, drawer. Now, I need two more, one, two. So you have divider, drawer, divider, drawer, divider, drawer, divider. Okay. So now, once that's done, I'm going to go and right-click and convert to an editable poly. Now, you can add the editable poly mesh in there, but I like working with this one. I've got my hotkey set up for it. So... We're going to just zoom up in here. Actually, you know what? We're going to go here first. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up, grab in vertexes. Okay, and the first vertex that we're going to do is we're going to grab this one. And this is a real simple trick. Scale, like so, will actually spread that apart. Okay, so what we can do is I usually grab all of them, scale upward, like so, and then we grab the next couple here, we scale this upward or downward a little bit till we want decide how we want the drawer. And if you have the grid on, you can actually kind of kind of go in and do what you want here. But for what we're doing, this is fine. So we have just basically created this this uh, drawer. Now what you can do is we can actually do in um, we can actually go in to the edge mode grab this, uh, all the edges that are this way, and I'm going to right click and say connect. Okay, now what connect does is basically, but before I do connect, what connect does is basically divides your, your line. So right now it's only one, but why I want is two, okay? Um, I'm going to move this off the side so you guys can see this. So if I do two, this will control how far apart it is. So I can move this as an equal length. So I'm done right there, and then I hit done, okay? 
Then what you're going to do is you're going to grab these three little pieces here um, and right click and just extrude those in. Now watch the other areas so that you don't extrude them too far and you don't have to deal with that. So there's the extrusion for that. Done. Okay, there's my base of my dresser and it's, and it's pretty much done. So what I'm going to do with that is actually um, I'm going to grab this, these three pieces right here. And now if you look at this, what we can do is we can actually optimize this and I'll, I'll show you a little, some tricks. Um, optimizing saves computer time. If you put it into a game engine, it does it there as well. So what we can do before we do anything, I won't worry about optimizing. I'll do this all at once. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab these three pieces right here. Okay. And we are going to shift click them outward. And instead of uh, cloning to an element, I'm going to clone them to an object. They're going to be drawers. Okay, so once we're, once we're done with that, um, we've gotten these as separate things. Now I'm going to just do one more thing while I'm thinking of it. And this is um, something just to make the top. I'm going to bevel the top, but first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bevel it, but I'm going to put it on the angle, the same plane, and just bevel it out. And this is just my trick that I do. And then I hit OK, then I can bevel up and inward or whatever I want. You know, I can I can basically move that like so, and then I can go in and move it accordingly. So there's my top already. Okay, so now once I'm done with that, I'm pretty much done with this one except for the optimization. So I'm going to uh, select, select these here. And I'm going to do this all in, in three separate pieces here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the polygons, and they're all selected. I'm going to go to Inset, and I'm just going to inset them, inset them just a hair, and that's done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click and go to um, Extrude, but I'm going to hit Control-I, which if you look here, Control I will invert your selection, and with the bevel selected, I can bevel that up. Now I'm going to undo this because what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this over here. So I'm going to bevel that up relatively close to that face. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the front faces, and I'm going to bevel that outward, but I'm going to bevel it up again. And it doesn't look like it's once wants to do it here for me, so let's just undo that. And let's try this. Um, I'll bevel just a hair out. There we go. Just something like so. Just a hair out, like so, and then click OK. And then bevel again outward and go in one. All right, so that's pretty much done there. Now I can select by element, and I'm going to actually select the top element and I'm going to detach it. Say OK. Grab this one, detach it, say OK. And then this one's by itself. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the drawers and uh, go back to the full object level here. I'm going to take these drawers, and you notice the pivot point is away from here now. Um, the pivot point is actually originating from this box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually move this back here, and it really doesn't matter how well I do it. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab this top one here. I keep selecting the wrong box. Uh, okay, so we got this one here, and I'm going to move this back here, and that looks like it's a good fit. And then uh, notice this one here is a little bit off, so I'm going to move that back, and then I'm going to move it up. Okay, and I'm going to just move this one. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move this one up here, a hair, 
and remove this one up a hair and we'll just adjust by taking this whole thing. So I'm just now I've got these three drawers and they're they're kind of separated. So what I'm gonna do here is just go into the vertex mode and this is okay. This one um, I want to basically move up a hair, I think, like so. And then this one I'm gonna move up a hair. And then these right here, I'm gonna move up just a hair. And that's just to even them out, make them look pretty. Okay, so now that I go back and look, I've got my dresser like so, okay? Now you can go in and fix, you know, fix if it's too wide or if it's too narrow, or you can scale these drawers up or however you want to do it. But basically, the nice thing about this now is I have separate drawers. Now, if you ever want to fix this pivot point, what you can do is just go into the hierarchy tab, go to effect pivot, and then um, center to object. And that'll actually, you just click center to object on all of it as long as you have this pivot and then you'll you can work with that so there's that and then say I want to do a little knob so what we're going to do now this is this is what they call spline modeling or part of it so what we're going to do with spline modeling we're just going to zoom in here and go into the line create a line that goes out inward and then uh, just like so okay and then we basically go here to the modifier panel go to lathe and if we zoom up all in this okay so now it looks like absolutely nothing right now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually just flip this or we're gonna go I think it's maximum uh, let's see here let's see we got here flip normals that's the first thing we're gonna do because it's it's uh, according to the way you way you're revolving this, and then we can do it according to direction. So we're going to do it on at y, and then we're going to do it max. Let's see here, or we can actually go on the axis, which just looks like what we're going to have to do, and move this to be like that. So and that lathe modifier is a really nice way to to, to turn some edges real quick. So then what we're going to do is I'm just going to zoom out and I'm going to Okay, so then what we're going to do here is we've got this little piece and you just pretty much just move it over like so and a real quick way to model this so we've got this here and so a real quick way to basically deal with this um, as long as it's attached and we can always look if it's attached on the here we can just move it just a hair okay and then once you have the position you think you want the drawer in what we can do is we can go to tools array and this is where it kind of gets weird so what we're going to do is we are going to only need 10 or we're only going to need three i think it is and we're going to do it in the negative z axis so we're just going to move this down to 6 is a little bit too big. We'll do negative 5.5. And if you just jump to another area. Okay, so now it's the, the Z axis. Now just what we can do then is, uh, so we've got 3. And then what we can do is we're going to do a 2D lathe. So we're going to go 2 over. And then we're going to use it on the x-axis. So just basically increment the x-axis over, like so. And say OK. And there is your your object. Now, what we can do is because these are edible boxes, you want to attach your two lathe points in there. So, and I'm just that that way. What what will happen is when we work on it. and you move the drawer, you don't have to worry about moving the hinges as well. So there is our dresser. Now, if you really want, 
and this gets a little bit more advanced but if you really want you can always take and link these three objects right here to the parent like so so now so now that we've linked this together all you really need to do is grab the dresser which I always recommend you guys name drawer one drawer two drawer three so forth but now because we've got this all linked together all we have to do is add the dresser going back here like so and everything follows with it and it's just a, a, a little trick that I've always uh, always uh, helps me when I'm placing objects and modeling stuff around so that is that so next uh, we're gonna do a toy box after this and then uh, probably a bed with a lamp and a little end table and we'll get this room done.